All right, so in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the brakes, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title. But just as a recap from last video, what I did. So in last video, we got the transmission in it and that brake in. And this whole cut and all that. The shifter working in this. Yesterday, I cut out a hole here for the battery to go. That's just in there with a bungee cord, and it should be fine. Um, also, I tightened the chain. And yeah. But I took it on a drive, and I'm not happy with these brakes. They are inadequate. So I'm going to do my own brakes. So I will show you how I do them. So what we have here is a go-kart brake caliper with adjustment so that I can adjust that out. And then I think um, I will put it in here, move the wheel out a bit. And then we'll be good. What I'm going to be using for a rotor is the sprocket. So I'll grind the teeth off and that should go over there if I space this out enough. So we will try that. And here's my truck. Um, I've done some things to it, like see the wheels. And the next video, like I'm, there's not enough stuff to make a video, so. It'll be painted by next video you see of it. So, anyways, now onto this. We'll rig up, see if we can get this to fit over this and then maybe grind the teeth on this. This is one inch, so it'll fit over here. So we'll start by taking this wheel off because I think I want it on this side. All right, so I flipped around the uh, lever because it was going the wrong way, so I just took, punched out the pin and turned it around. And I have to run some washers in between here for the thickness of this. And that's just able to clear as it is here. And I have this... This is the old uh, front transmission transaxle mount that went to the frame from the transaxle. And if I put this like that, cut that 90 degree off at the end there, that can go right there and right to there. Right there as a, tr as a brake mount. And then do something for the front, and it'll be solid. And then this will go up a bit. I'll grind the, some of the teeth off so it's not as harsh. And maybe drill it. So I have slotted rotors, drilled and slotted, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. But yeah, obviously that'll be over a bit more, but yeah, that's how it, how it will be. So I will cut this off and then see about tacking something together. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, so I've figured out this bracket. I don't know if this is cast iron, but it's welding like shit, so... Anyways. But yeah, I'm able to get that off. I welded on there, I was like, uh oh, am I able to slide it off because it's a two-piece type thing, it can't come off this way because the, the the lever there. But yeah, so I'm gonna figure out another piece, probably going, maybe I could go from there to there. That could work. Just a straight shot to there. But yeah, this is pretty strong on there. I have some decent weld over there. Kind of got tight on room with the bar there and any, everything, so I'll weld underneath and then fully weld that. But yeah, and then I'll maybe put this in gear and go with the grinder just to take the sharpness off the teeth, you know, just make, just, just so it's not too deadly. Anyway, so that's what we'll do. A piece from there to there, and then fully weld that, and then maybe grind this. I've got a keyway in there now, and I tried it with the brakes, and it seems to slow it down, well, with just my finger pulling it, so it should be better than what I've got there. So then I'll take all that off and maybe use the cable again. So, we'll see. So yeah, this sprocket I actually bought for the go-kart a long time ago, and I didn't realize that it was 50, 50 chain and I needed 40 chain, so I done goofed there. But we're putting it to use now. So yeah. It's not too bad welds. It does pretty good. You really have to go slow with this. But anyways. There it is. All right, so I've got this bracket in. I've tested it. The caliper will still fit on. And so I'm gonna weld that there and already like, that's strong. So it should be good. Then probably rig up a thing for the cable somewhere and then we'll be good. There it is. So now I'm just gonna take the edge off these teeth, probably take them down to about, about there maybe. Just about where they start tapering in. So yeah, 
we will do that. So get the grinder and we'll send it. There it is. So I just need to make a bracket here for the cable. And then I maybe should add another washer because it's a little tight. Anyways. And I notice with cutting this hole, there's now some structural rigidity taken out of the frame. See, the battery is the bottom frame, and that's not moving. The top is moving when I move side to side. So, I probably need to do some cross bracing somewhere. So when making stuff like this, there's a lot of moments where I'm just sitting here looking at this piece, looking at it there, then looking at it here, then looking at it back over here, and then figuring if that's going to be good enough, and then I end up trying it, and then it is or it isn't, and then I do it all again, perhaps. So that's what goes into this. But anyways, we'll try the cable again. Uh, if I can get enough pull on it with the cable, then we'll leave it like that. If not, then... I'll make a rod going to here and then a, a heel will break back here. But yeah, that's what we're looking at. So I think I'm going to just try weld, just tack weld that there. And then I'm going to make something to pull on here. And try that. So we'll go from there. Alright, so I've got this bracket on there, the cable on there, the return spring. Should be good. This, uh, my little stop that I made. This is kind of just hanging out. Probably put that up there. Uh, one thing to note, don't have any cables around touching metal to metal when you're welding because um, that's what happened and you see the current goes through and it just zaps the wires. And I've seen this done before with my one friend on his mini bike, but I forgot about it. And then it zapped two of the threads, so we're down two, so oh well, it should be fine. Um, the brakes work, they feel good. So I think I'm satisfied with that, so I will put it together, figure out a spacer, I need to figure that out, and then try it out. So we'll do that. And I'm going to disconnect all the brake stuff up here, probably take the whole caliper off for weight reduction. You know, it's all about weight reduction. So we'll do that. Tighten this up and then send it. All right, so everything's all ready. I'm going to throw the wheel on. So we'll put this on here. That's how far on it goes. So there's the center line of the tire, about two fingers from there. Then we are about two fingers in from the center line, so it's going to move it four fingers out. Gap there to gap there. Anyways, there's the brake. It will have to wear down a little bit because my washers again. So these aren't super tight, but I can always tighten them later. So we'll go for a test drive. And actually, I think I'll get the throttle fixed because in the last video, it wasn't revving out. So I might do that first. We said bye-bye to the governor. Not using that anymore. Uh, I just actually, this cable used to come straight down to this. So I just turned that and have it going to here some, to some copper to the thing. So now it, it works okay. That gets full throttle. Um, I'm probably going to want to make a stop so it doesn't go to full throttle. Or just be mindful about it and don't rev the bag off of it. So we'll go with that. Alright, here we go. Brakes work. Gear. The gas pedal is super touchy. Ooh. Have to put a bit more steering input into it.
the frame flexing. That's not very good. Not very confident inspiring. Try leaning over a bit more. Take that jump out of there, that's just destroying it. Need to be like over here. test. Well, that's eh, better than before. I'll try adjusting it. Yeah. We will adjust the brakes.